Our first problem is that we have a candy store that's opened up and they sell candy by the box, but you fill that box with a mixture of candy of your choice. The box has a surface area of 600 centimeters squared and we're asked to calculate the optimal dimensions of the box and the maximum volume of candy that you would be able to fit into the box. Remember that the maximum volume occurs when the shape is a cube. So here's our cube and we're given that the surface area is 600 centimeters squared. We're required to find out what the length of the sides and the height of the cube is going to be and we're going to use the formula that's developed over on the right hand side. Now remember that for any rectangular prism we've got two of the length times width time plus length times height plus width times height but in this case the length width and height are all the same so we've got two of the s times s along the bottom s times s along the face and s times s along the side each of these s times s is inside the square brackets multiplied together gives you s squared and we have three of those s squared simplified here when you multiply by the 2 in front, you get 6s squared. So the formula we're going to use for the surface area of a cube is 6s squared. We'll substitute in the values that we know. So we know that the surface area is fixed at 600 centimeters squared. We'll rearrange this and solve the equation. So we have 6s squared equal to 600. I want to isolate s all by itself. So to do that, I need to get rid of this 6 in front. Now that's acting like multiplying right now, so to do the opposite operation of division, we will get rid of that 6 in front, but we need to do it to both sides of the equation. On the left hand side we have just s squared, and when we, on the right hand side when we do 600 divided by 6, we get 100. To get rid of this operation of squaring, we need to take the square root. When you take the square root of both sides, you end up getting s equal 10 centimeters. When you have a side length of 10 centimeters, the volume of this cube then is going to be s times s times s, or s cubed. We can sub in our value of 10 cubed, gives us a volume of 1,000 centimeters cubed. So therefore, the optimal dimensions of this box is going to be a cube that's 10 by 10 by 10, and it'll give you a maximum volume of candy of 1,000 centimeters cubed.